Hi everybody, this is Oksana and today we're going to make this ring. It uses all round wires and a teardrop shaped stone. So if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. So first we're going to need two pieces of 20 gauge round copper wire and I purchased my spool on RioGrande.com and you just need two pieces and they are 10 inches long. And next we're going to need one long piece of 26 gauge round wire and it's going to be 26 inches long. Very long piece. I folded it in half here and we're going to take our two wires and about three and a half inches from the end of them. That's where we're going to connect this 26 gauge wire. So um, what I'm going to do is since I bent it in half, you can see this little area here. Let me zoom in so you can see better. So I'm going to just place it on top and then I'm going to take the bottom end of it and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom most wire. So it's basically like I'm bringing it up and putting it through the middle. And then the other end, I know it kind of moves around all over the place. You can try to kind of hold this bottom part now that we did that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it around and through the middle making essentially a little loop around the top. So now we have both of our wires coming out of the middle here, which is what we're trying to achieve. So now I'm going to flip it over. Here's what it looks like on the other side. And now we're going to do our little pattern. So I'm just going to separate my wires a little bit so that um, there's some space and I'm going to bring these wires up and I'm going to line them up side by side. This is the same pattern that you saw me do in my previous ring video. So the key here is to try and keep the wires side by side, but we're weaving with both of them a figure eight around the wire. So it's kind of difficult at first, but then it kind of gets easier once you get in the groove of it. So I'm putting them through the middle. Again, if they start to kind of crisscross there, I just fix it. I just take whatever wire, there we go, this one kind of needed to be to the left and I just kind of pulled it that way so they're not crisscrossed and now we're going to bring them up and through the middle and then bring them around the top and through the middle and bring it up and through the middle and then it just starts to kind of go faster once you have it going and it's connected and you can kind of grab this little end and here's what that looks like now you can kind of push it closer together for a tighter look and we have to do this for quite a bit. It depends on what size you want your ring to be because this is the band of our ring. So we're going to be bending it around a ring mandrel to see, you know, how it's looking. So once it's getting nice and long, you just want to take a ring mandrel and then depending on what size that you want to make it, you want to bend it around your ring mandrel and see if it's starting to come together. Now you actually don't want the two little weaving portions to touch because we're going to be bending these wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these wires so the bottom wire is kind of curving down and then the top wire is curving up and you want to do that on both and then where that touches that's how you want it to go we're going to be connecting the wires so here's what that looks like and now we just need to connect um, and you can do a different weaving pattern, by the way, if you don't like this one. But now I have these two little wire ends to connect my ring with, to connect these sides with. So I'm just going to wrap it around these two, just trying to get them lined up kind of 
nicely together and then I'm going to bring it just kind of down and across. I'm going to press on this with my pliers a little bit there to flatten it and then I'm just trying to fix it so it's more symmetrical and so I'm just bringing it down and then I'm going to wrap it around these two wires to connect them so it looks like this and before I finish off these little wire ends I just have to wrap them around something so there's two of them so I'm going to take the rightmost one and I'm going to wrap it a few times around this wire here and then this one I'm just going to wrap a few times around the top So doing this will prevent them from unraveling. So I'm just going to trim in such a way that the little ends of the wire are here on the top facing me. And then I'm going to press down the little wire ends with my pliers like this. So here is what it looks like. Next I'm going to take my stone, it's a red jasper little teardrop and it measures a little bit over half of an inch and if we do it in millimeters it is, is that 15? No, it's more, it's like 16, 17 millimeters. Alright, so we are going to take it and we're just going to hold it kind of centered on that little area in the middle there and then these two wires we are going to bend towards us like this and same thing with these bottom wires but these bottom wires you have the point of the teardrop so you want them to go oops, it's very slippery trying to hold everything at this point but it'll get easier in a minute here but you want them to go where there's one on each side of the point. So it kind of holds the point there. And then what you want to do, so just kind of squeeze them there around the point of that teardrop. And then put them almost like through these other wires. So here. See that how the other wires that are coming from the top are here on the outside and these wires are on the inside. That's how you want it to go. So I'm just going to turn this sideways and kind of hold it in a slightly different way so you can see what's happening here a little better. Alright, so then these wires from the top, we just want them to be kind of up against the stone and we want everything to be symmetrical like equidistant from all edges here the stone's kind of staying in right now but we're gonna lo really lock it in place all right so what we're going to do is we're gonna take these wires and just kind of do this gently so you don't move the wires out of place and so you can see if things are looking symmetrical but we're going to curve them around these other wires and we're going to essentially wrap them around so it's going all the way around kind of underneath it here I'm grabbing it on the other side and it's forming this loop and once the loop is formed you can kind of squish it with your pliers because it's hard to do it tight with your fingers like this and now we're just going to do the other one I'm just trying to ooh, my, the stone can move at this point so it's a little bit difficult you have to try and like keep it in place I'm just tightening up this little loop with my pliers and I'm having it go 
just completely around. That's what you want. You want it to just be a complete loop that goes all the way around. So here's what that looks like. And now these wires that we've wrapped around, we are just going to take them and curve them inwards towards the stone like this. Okay, now everything is a little bit raised up from the stone. Oops, moved my stone out of place accidentally. Oh, got to pop that back in there. There we go. So I'm just trying to press it down. So just be careful because the stone can still fall out at this point, but we have to weave on these two wires. So you can do whatever um, weaving pattern you prefer and using the same 26 gauge wire. So I'll leave a link to this weaving pattern if you need to see like a really slow version, but it basically loops around the bottom wire and then the top wire and then down across both and then it repeats. So bottom wire, top wire, and then down across both. So I'll leave a link. I have a video on this specific weaving pattern if you need it like more in depth and slower if you're doing this pattern for the first time. But you don't need to do it for very long. So after you've wrapped it around the top most wire, like that step in the pattern, it'll be coming out here, out the back, and it'll be in between both wires. And I find that that is the best kind of time to trim the wire end because it's kind of trapped here coming out in the middle of the two wires. So I'm just trimming it so it's not visible from the front and then the little wire end here as well. You just want to trim it um, as short as you can so it's not sticking out the front or visible from the front. This is the front the way that we're looking at it now. And I'm just going to tighten up the little wrap just like this and I'm going to push down on this so it's coming kind of here in the middle of everything makes like a little heart. And now we're just going to separate the wires and have one go on each side. The stone is still a bit wobbly there. Here's what that looks like. I'm going to trim these now. So I'm just leaving myself a little wire end so that I can kind of tuck that little wire end away. I think I might have cut this one a little too short. But we basically are continuing this little wrapping around of the wire. And by doing that, we're just tucking that wire end or just having it go around, 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 and then it gets just tucked in there. And that also tightens up the wires, kind of pushed my stone to the side, but it's okay because then when I do this one, it's going to tighten up this side here. So here is what that looks like. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a bend in the wire. So the way I'm doing it is I'm grabbing the wire and I'm bending my pliers this way. So here's the kind of bend that it makes. So again, I'm just grabbing it and I'm bending my pliers in this case down. And this is the type of bend that it makes. So now we just have to finish off these wires. So here they are going kind of just down the back. And now I'm going to bend them to go through the ring itself. And I'm going to do that to the other one and I'm going to finish them off. Basically see how it's made like a loop around the ring band in both of those cases. So that's how I'm going to finish them off is by kind of finishing up that loop. So I'm going to trim. 
and you can see the loop more clearly now. You can see the little wire ends of them. So you just take the wire ends and just kind of point them downwards and close up that loop and now the wire end it's not going to um, touch the skin because it's pointing kind of down onto the stone and then just kind of press it in there, close up that loop and the wire ends get hidden away that way and you wouldn't be able to feel them. So that's it. Let me just kind of slowly show you the ring from all angles so you can see how the finished piece looks. And it has a secret hidden little heart here. Kind of looks like a heart shape. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.